So in this video, we're going to talk about reflections. And it's going to be very similar to before. We're going to add some new things to our transformation table. Let's look at a graph. Let's look at a graph. All right. In this graph, <clears throat> in this graph over here, this is the square root function. This is a toolkit function. What if I want to flip this upside down? If I want to reflect this, reflect it across the x-axis. So instead of going up here, I want it now to go down here. Well, this turns all these positive y values into negative y values. How do we turn all the positive y values into negative y values? We add a negative in the front. A negative on the outside of the function is a vertical change. Outside of the function, vertical change. That's going to be a big thing for this class, for this section. So again, this works with kind of really anything that we want to talk about. Maybe x squared. We're going to flip this down. Reflect it over the x-axis, negative x squared. Flips it. Whoa, I just hit my glasses. I didn't eat my guacamole. Oh, no. Anyway, um, flips it upside down. And so similarly, if doing something on the outside of the function reflects it over the x-axis, doing something on the inside of the function. Aha! Who could have seen that one coming? A negative on the inside is a horizontal change, a horizontal reflection, a reflection about the y-axis. And that's how we're going to fill in our table today. So let's go all the way back to the table and we'll say reflection about the x-axis. And we'll talk about reflections about the y-axis. So about the x-axis, this is the x-axis. So to reflect it about the x-axis is a vertical change. It flips it, reflects it that way. So vertical change means it's going to be a negative on the outside of the function. Y-axis is a horizontal change. That means there's going to be a negative on the inside of the function. And some examples could be negative square root of x and the square root of negative x, the two examples that we did on Desmos. Well, let's use these to do some more problems from not the book. Let's call all of the other video example one. Well, then now we're on example two. Find a formula. For the following functions. All right, in this first function, let's, uh, I'm going to regret this, I think. Go back to here and I'm going to give you a graph. And you are going to have to give me formula for this graph. So let's look at, uh, Passes through these points. And it looks like this. So first you have to identify the toolkit function. And then you have to identify what is being done to it. So hopefully if you look at your toolkit functions, you're going to see that the toolkit function here is the reciprocal squared function, 1 over x squared. But normally that's positive on both sides. We're making it negative on both sides. Negative. It's, we're reflecting it about what axis is this? The x-axis. It's a vertical change. It used to be up here. We moved it down. Vertical change means outside of the function. So now our new function is y equals negative. 1 over x squared. And that's our answer, and that's how we approach these. Let's do part b. Find a function for an equation for this other graph. Say it starts right here, goes through this point, 
goes through this point, and it looks like this. Pretend it goes through those points. Use your imagination. I'm really bad at drawing this kind of function. I won't tell you what kind of function is because I would spoil it. So pause the video, look through your notes, try to find what toolkit function this is. You should have gotten that this is the square root of x. But the square root of x normally is over here. What's happening? We're reflecting it horizontally. We're re reflecting it about the y-axis. Okay. Reflect it about the y-axis. That's a horizontal change. That means our function now has a negative on the inside of that. Here we are. Now we're going to do two problems from the book. Number 44 and uh, number 46. Let's tab over to that and see what number 44 has in stuff for for us. Use the graphs of the transformed toolkit functions to write a formula for each result. Ah, so let's look at number 44. First off, we have to figure out what toolkit this is. Should look like x cubed. But there's a lot of things happening here, right? x cubed normally looks like this. This is upside down, right? Going, it should be going up on the right, but it's going down on the right. So it's upside down. Otherwise known as reflected about the x axis. Also, the middle is usually over here, but our middle is right there. We have shifted to right and up one. So let's do these things one at a time. Let's shift it two to the right. Well, let's shift it upside down first. We'll talk l later about why order sometimes matters. Let's not worry about it too much now. Flip it upside down. Reflect it about the x-axis is a vertical change. So the negative goes on the outside. And then we need to move it, right? This is the first part. And we... It, you could do it all at once, but doing it in steps like this is more helpful, right? So this is, this is the first part. And then two to the right means on the inside, we're subtracting two. That's the second step. And now the third step, we shouldn't actually be calling all of these Y. And then in the third step, right, we're adding one to make it up one. That's step three. And especially when there's a lot of transformations happening, it can be useful to do these step by step. But either way, this should be our answer. Let's check our answer with Desmos. So, oh no, this, this thing is happening again. I don't know what it is, but something's happening. Check our answer with Desmos. Type this in. Type in negative x plus 2 cubed plus 1. That's not a cube, Jason. Uh-oh. I typed it in wrong. Negative x minus 2 cubed plus 1. Now this should look the same as this. Are these the same? They have a different scale. But if you actually compare the points, they should be the same. 
and we're good to go. All right, and so that's reflections. Flipping things upside down, flipping things left to right, more formally known as reflecting about either the X or the Y axis. And now you can do the homework and let me know if you have questions and I will eat some guacamole.